Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to fully install and set up the new PCSX 1.0 emulator for PS2. This is going to be a really easy tutorial, way easier than the past versions that they've thrown out there. This one not only has standalone, but it also has uh, a prepackaged RINRAR file that everything is included inside. And I'm going to be showing you how to set up based on that way. Though you can download the uh, standalone uh, installer if you want. Alright, so our first step is to open up our browser. We're going to go onto their website, pcsx2.net. Once you're there, just go onto uh, their tab, the download tab, select your release. In this case, for me, it's Windows. After you get there, you're going to have three different options. The first one is going to be the standalone installer, which you, you can download if you want, and you can install it uh, any way you see fit. The way I'm going to show you guys is through the binary version, which everything is included in a compressed file, like uh, a RINRAR file. If you do not have WinRAR, uh, you do have to get it. All you have to do is go into another t uh, another tab and uh, type in WinRAR. Download it there. Go into the RAR lab. Download. Just download which one is your preference, whether a 32 or a 64 bit. If you have Linux or if you have Mac OS X, that's up to you. After you have that, you set that up. Uh, I'd click download on the PCSX2 1.0 download here and after this is done just take a couple of seconds we open it up like so and we're gonna have all these files inside like so now all of these files are compressed in here everything is pre-installed all you have to do is extract it so what we're gonna do well in my case what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be extracting all of this uh, into the location I want in this case I'm gonna be putting it on my desktop I'm going to be creating a folder, PCSX2 uh, 1.0. And we're going to be extracting all of these into that file. So uh, leaving everything here uh, unselected, click Extract to, PSX2 folder, click OK. Everything is going to be extracted over. You can exit out of that. That's over. Now we open up the fully extracted uh, files, which are all located in this folder. but Depending on where you selected, you can it, it could have gone anywhere. Got your documents, whatever you wanted. I saved it to my desktop. Okay, now I'm going to be showing you how to get the second part, which is obtaining the BIOS files for you to be able to um, work uh, with the emulator, which I currently have them here on my desktop. If you haven't seen them, this is what they look like. These are uh, bin files from what I've from, from what I've seen. The rest is part uh, of all of the uh, bios. All of these bios are for the US, Europe, Hong Kong, China, and so forth. You're gonna need them. Otherwise, um, the emulator can't run. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna open up our browser, we're gonna go onto this uh, website. Uh, I have provided the link in the description. Uh, the NES, uh, NES Orama. All you have to do is take the link, paste it onto your address, download the file, and it's going to be in a compressed RINRAR file. Just use the password to open it up and extract all the files. I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Just open it up and uh, paste. Go through this, download it, uh, exit this crappy window. It's going to download. It's going to take a couple of seconds. So we're going to wait for that. Just kidding. After I'm done, it's going to be this file. I pretty much have it here somewhere. There's two volumes. I have it somewhere around here. Hmm. There it is. You're going to get this file right here like this. But it's going to be locked. Look. It requires a password. So what we're going to do is you're going to go into the site, copy the password that he has here, paste it, click OK and it'll extract the files and I'm gonna cancel because I already have all the files necessary and that's how you get your BIOS and now and now we're gonna be setting up uh, PCSX2 um, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, open up the program run it you're gonna go through your first time config now once you do this set the system default or pick language that you prefer click apply once you click apply, you're going to uh, 
the, the, the application is going to uh, set up all these new uh, folders here that you haven't seen before. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click next, extract all the available plugins. Um, you're going to get other things extracted into there. You can see here you have all the new files, mem, the memory cards, you set up the BIOS folder, which is the most important, is also implemented. And we're going to cancel it for now. We're going to cancel and we're going to focus on this, this section right here. Now what you're going to want to do in here is in your BIOS, make sure that uh, you extract all of the BIOS you've downloaded. Uh, in this case, it's in the desktop for me. We're going to simply copy over all these files into the directory PCSX2 uh, 1.0 BIOS folder. Just paste it all in there, like so. Just wait a few, uh, a few seconds. Now after you do that, you complete the BIOS. Your BIOS is set up. All of the BIOS you have there are currently set up. Now we go back to the configuration. Just run it up again. It's the first time config sets system to default. Next, just overwrite. And now comes uh, the important part. The graphics, the GS is the graphics that you put in. You can configure that by clicking the configure button. I would. Uh, the only thing I'd really worried about here is setting the resolution to what your um, uh, your monitor is, uh, or you can leave it. You can leave it alone and leave it on windowed, which is my preference. I would leave it at that. Click OK. The next very important thing is uh, your lily pad, which is your uh, controls. You can leave it on uh, the new pressure mod, but I'd rather leave it on lily pad. I can configure that, and this is where you configure all your keys. It's going to uh, tell you uh, the pads that are available, one or two, the devices that are available as well. And in this case, we're going to leave it on DualShock 2. And we're going to focus on pad 1, which is on these tabs on the top. You can configure your keys through here. All you have to do is click on a button, say for Square. Uh, say uh, if, you have a, if you have a PS2 remote, you will notice that you have all the keys here. All you have to do is press, for example, a key like Square. Set a key for it. In this case, I'm just going to press a random key, like G and it's going to be recorded. So every time now you press G on your keyboard, it will be square. And you configure all your keys this way. And once you're done, just click Apply. And all the keys will be set. You can do that for two as well, in case you want to do two players. Now I'm going to delete the selected and leave this alone for now. Now, uh, let's say that that's configured. Just click OK. Uh, the next thing would be your CD DVD. I uh, would we'll leave it at CD uh, gigahertz. You can configure that as well. Uh, that's the source drive and leave it alone. And for everything else, it's pretty much done. Now, all you have to do is click Next, find your settings, and here is the BIOS ROM selection. Now, since we put in all of the BIOS that we had before into our BIOS folder, it recognizes all of the BIOS. See, if you didn't do that before, it wouldn't have recognized it. You wouldn't have had to have done this uh, uh, all over again. See, now since it recognizes, it's asking you to pick a BIOS from a certain region. In this case, I'm just going to pick US, and I'm going to click Finish. Now, once it finishes, it's going to compile everything, and if everything goes correctly, this is going to be uh, what's said: plugins loaded successfully, and your uh, emulator is completely ready to accept uh, your games. Alright guys, now I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually implement your games into the uh, emulator so you can start playing. Now, that will only be set uh, the first time. So every time you open uh, your emulator, uh, after the first config, it's going to load up like this. And also, after you implement your first game, it's always going to preload uh, already for you. All you'd have to do is go under CD select the game, go for it and play, and it'll be recognized down here. As you can see, I have it here. I have Kingdom Hearts here, and it's already pre-selected because I've done already, so. Uh, but for the first time, what you'd want to do is um, you'd want to pre-select it. Uh, if you want to go right away and play the game, just go on to CDVD. I still select to browse 
uh, to wherever it's located. Once it's in, se uh, select system and boot the disk. I'm going to show you how to do that now. Let's say I just have no disk and I'm going to go back up to the ISO selection. Now I do not have anything in there. Now once I browse, I'm going to go look for it. In my case it's in the desktop. I'm just going to click open. Once it's open, it's going to be registered. It's going to be selected here. But since it's, it already was, it's not going to do anything. So now, all you got to do is go to System and Boot CD DVD, and it will boot the game for you that way. It will boot automatically. There will be no screen, no initial screen. It will, it will just go as if you were to uh, put, had, a, had the game already into the system. That's how it usually goes. If you do not have a CD in there, uh, uh, the program would actually boot the initial system of a PS2. But if you already have AI so selected, uh, it will automatically be in there. And and make sure you also have all your keys configured. If you didn't do that, you're going to have to do that. And that's about it. And there you go on. You can play the game as much as you want. And that's about it guys so uh, if you have any other questions just leave them down in the comments below or uh, write me a message and I'll try to help you guys as much as I can and thank you again for listening bye guys